Alright Caillou and Rosie, today we are going to Walmart since I need to buy some bottles of alcohol when I go to the bar later. Wait Boris, did you forget about classic Caillou? Who gives a crap about him, in fact, he's still locked in his own dungeon and will stay there for an eternity. Anyways kids, let's go right now since I have work to do later. Alright kids, while I go shop for some alcohol, your mother is going to stay with you at all times. Got it. I think I'm going to get all of the bottles on this row. And later when I go to the bar, I can't wait to get drunk after spilling three bottles of vodka. Tonight will be a lot of fun. Okay. Now it's time to go to the register and spend all of my savings on them. Alright sir, how many alcoholic beverages do you have on your cart? I have 10. Well I hate to be the bearer of bad news sir. But due to many reports that you've recently been drunk numerous times in your local bars and even once almost killed someone whilst in a car crash, I don't think I would take the risk of selling these to you. Because if I do, then I have a high probability of getting fired. Oh my god. Boris, are you okay? Please speak to me if you can. Boris, please tell me you're fine. I'm really sorry for not being responsible for when you pass out. Um, Bartinta, I do not think he's okay. If he continues to be unconscious, then we must call an ambulance ASAP. Oh come on! It doesn't even matter, just sell it anyways. Your manager most likely has never heard of me nor did they see the news of me passing out in the bar, and even if they do know me, they aren't gonna know that I'm buying all of these liquids anyways. Well like I said, I'm not willing to risk my whole job. Therefore, there is nothing I can do about it. So your two only options is to go buy something else you'd like or just leave. Sir, I'm trying to tell you. You aren't taking any risks if there are literally no workers around us. And for the third time, I still don't want to take any sort of chances. If my manager ends up leaving his office and watches me sell you 10 beverages at this second, then I may get into serious trouble, which can lead me into getting fired. This is so far the highest paid job I've been hired with a low acceptance rate, and I don't want to lose it. Dude, stop acting like a baby and just let me buy those damn bottles. Alright, at this point, you're losing it. Now I'm asking you to get out of the store before I call the cops. I refuse, and if you continue disobeying my rights for buying alcohol, then guess what's going to happen? What is it? When you get home, I am going to look for your house and give you a punishment day. <laughs> oh my god. Did you really think that your GoAnimate threats were gonna work? There's no way that people still believe they do. Well you're kinda wrong, they actually do sometimes. Arian Entertainment just made my threat be unable to work since he wanted me to be the one punished here instead. In fact, I can use Go Animate Logic to easily teleport us to your house and give you a punishment day. I just can't because the viewers will think that I use that term as an excuse. Hey, Boris. Stop breaking the fourth wall or you'll be removed from the video. Okay, okay, I'm sorry Arian. I'll just go on with the video. Sir, you need to stop holding the line over your pathetic argument. I've been standing here for literally an hour. And thanks to you, you've also made like 20 other people wait behind.
Young man, I'm really sorry for making this a tedious wait for you and the other customers. I should have dealt with this mess by instantly ejecting him from the store rather than dragging on the situation. And now I'm about to do it since we can't wait any longer. I'm gonna have to stop you there, because I've actually got the best plan to resolve this issue. Just let me show you how I can win an argument. Wait, hold the phone. What the hell do you think you're doing? I know, this is leaving me so frightened since he might cause an attack after not getting his way. I think we all need to hide if that ever happens for God's sake. I am going to crash my car into Walmart since I've had it with the workers bull crap. He's definitely getting taught a lesson after I do this. Crap. I think he's going to crash his car into the building. Attention everyone, a man has just crashed his car into the store, causing severe damages, please evacuate through the emergency exit while we investigate this incident. Well great, this is what I call a lovely day. Sir, I'm gonna need your name please. My name is Boris. Why do you ask? Cause guess what? What? I am the manager of this store. And you do realize that I've heard all of the news, and everything about you being an alcoholic. The worker has told me that you have pressured him to buy several alcoholic drinks. You should also realize that he did the right thing by not selling them to you. And since you have caused the majority of wrongdoings, especially that you just crashed my car into my store, I am now going to call the cops. You are going to be arrested and will have to pay for the destroying bills. 911, what's your emergency? Yes, a man has just purposely crashed into a Walmart in Go City that I own. He did it because my worker refused to sell him alcohol when he did the right thing. Please arrest him. Okay sir, thanks for letting me know. We'll be there shortly. <coughs> Guy with the green shirt, hop in my car, you are under arrest. No man, please don't arrest me, I am really sorry for all of my actions. Saying sorry won't reverse the damages you caused. And you'll also be charged $10,000. Now you have 5 seconds to get in the car, otherwise the bill will increase to 20000 Please don't tell me that this was Boris's car. If you're talking about the man with the green sweatshirt, then I hate to bring it to you, but it was him that crashed his car. And now he's arrested for it. <gasps> oh my freaking god, I cannot believe out of my mind that Boris would actually do that. I'm going to visit him in his jail cell as soon as possible. Come on kids, I'm going to call an Uber to send you guys home while I go visit your father. Okay Boris, this will be your cell. And before you ask what you will have, it'll be nothing except cat food and a thin bed for you to sleep on. Enjoy your stay, and see you in five years. Oh, and you also got a visitor. that you would ever commit crimes and crash your car into Walmart. You know that we now have to pay $10,000 just to restore what you destroyed. Although you're too old to get grounded, I hope you stay rested for the amount of time you deserve to be behind those bars. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>